Welcome back to Taking Care of Business on RPPFM. We've got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. See, because at a conference like this, we don't want to just talk about business. We want to give people a chance. And so at a previous session on PR, there was a competition. Whoever could pitch their business the best won a spot on radio. And the winner is, of course, Janet McNeil from McNeil Real Estate. Hello, Janet. Hello, how are you? I'm very, very <laughs> well indeed. And because there'll be people listening going, whoa, what was the winning pitch? I'm going to throw to you. Give us your pitch. Okay, my pitch is that uh, my I'm a real estate agent. I've got my own real estate agency uh, based in Mornington and I'm the first or the only uh, real estate agency who's actually uh, looking after the older generation, um, helping them through the process of making their decision uh, to move from their family home and downsize, whether it's into care or a retirement village or something else. Um, there's a, a I, I believe there's a, a real need in that um, space for uh, a family and the older person to actually be able to have, speak to an agent that they can trust that's not going to take advantage because it's a really emotional time oh God, you know and sometimes they've been in their home for like 40 years and you know they've Perhaps they've lost a partner and they just don't know what to do. And they're dealing with the emotions of, you know, losing a partner. Their health is obviously diminishing. They're not managing in their home. And they just they just don't know what to do and they don't know what the best option is. So we sit down with them. We also, as much as we possibly can, sit down with the family because it, it is a, an entire decision. And, and we don't... We don't want um, the family to think that, you know, we're a typical real estate agent that's come in and taken advantage and, you know, said to the parent, look, you know, you need to sell. Everyone gets involved. Everyone understands the process. They can look at what um, options are available to them for that move. And sometimes moving isn't actually the answer. We actually also work with a number of um, providers on the peninsula that help people stay in their home longer. Mm. So they don't necessarily, if, you know, if the garden, for example, is what's causing the problem, well, there's gardeners that can come in and do work for them. There's, you know, cleaners, there's people who can help them actually choose which, which option of retirement or care is better for them as well. So we work with all these different um, providers to make sure that the person gets the best result for them, not for us. This is, there's a lot more hours that go into that than oh, perhaps yes. would normally go into selling a home. Okay. Yes. Yes, no, we do more than just sell the home. We, we, we feel that it's really important to make sure that the client understands what's happening as much as they can. And, mm. if, and as I say, if, it, if the older person's in a situation where they can't quite understand it or grasp it, then the family will. And, and I relate this to, I went through all this with my dad when he wasn't well and, and, um, and as he was ageing, he was saying, okay, well, I don't quite understand what's happening. You know, Janet, you deal with it. You answer this question. You do this. You do that. And, and I know what it's like to have be in that situation. And so I can relate to the family member who's doing exactly the same as what I did. And most of the time, it's a woman who's doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. This is a really good example, I think, of a, of a business actually modifying itself to uh, to a changing geography, you know, that's out well, there. Uh, well, it, you know, the, the population is getting older. Mm, yes. It's only going to happen more. Was, we're speaking with our guests earlier about how we are now living longer. It was Pip who was yes. saying we're living longer. We are, yes. And, and government's aware of that, and the, the NBIS has come along board, and so they're trying to... They want people to stay in their homes longer. Yes. It's better for everyone. It's more cost-effective for the government. It's better for the families. Yet they get to the point where it's not it's possible, possible anymore. Correct. Yep. So obviously you need a lot of trust to be yes. helping move that because let's face it, family dynamics at their best <laughs> are challenging. Be and this has got to be a very emotive time. I would yes. say even more emotive than a funeral because yes. at a funeral it's like, okay, well, everything's gone it's and happened. it's done. Yep. Where this is like... How do we do what's right for the individual but make it easy for the family and navigate the, no, it's not. It's too soon, they can't move yes. out, and then mum or dad might not be cognizant Quite of what's going on? Correct. So how do you build that trust to be that trusted advisor yep. through this difficult process? I think one of the main uh, differences for us is we're not pushy. We're, okay. not, we're not coming in and going, oh, you must do this, 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 yeah, and this. Yeah, yeah. It's a case of, okay, guys, let, I listen. Listen to what the family is saying. Listen to what the older person is saying. Because sometimes the older person says, well, I don't want to move. And the family says, well, you have to. Yeah. Or vice versa. And it's, as you say, the, the dynamic there can be quite tricky. So you've really got to sit down and listen to the needs of each person. 
and have a, a big discussion, roundtable discussion, because yeah. you can't just talk to one person because then this person go, well, you told them something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's together. Everyone gets the same information. They get the same um, advice and they get to know what other, you know, um, services are available. So everyone gets the same information and they can all uh, work with that in their own time. But any questions, they just come back to us at any time. But we just make sure that it's a case of ensuring that everyone knows what's happening. And that way, the family actually do trust us because they realise that we're not just coming in here and being bombastic and saying, look, you know what, sell your mum and dad's house, move off, go and yeah, buy yeah. a retirement village and see you later, that's the end of it. Um, we also keep in touch with all of our clients after you know places have sold and settled. We've got clients that, you know, in their 90s in retirement villages and, and we still see them. Yeah, yeah. Still speak to them, still see them, families, lovers. So yeah, yeah. Because we're not just about the transaction, we're about the whole situation. Do you find, have you had any clients where they're like, oh, I don't want to go into the home, don't want to go in the home, and then afterwards like, oh my God, this is the this, best thing. Oh, I've now yes. got friends again and I can oh, now yes. be here. Is, yes. Do you find that a bit? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yep. Because it is, like, for, for people who... Uh, who uh, might be struggling as they get getting older yep. to all of a sudden have that support and companionship it's a fabulous thing to see isn't it it is but retirement villages are not for everyone because there are people that are very and my dad was one for example there's right. no way he was going to retirement village okay, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. we investigated a whole bunch of them but he was the sort of um, personality that he felt that he couldn't um, mix with other people, and, you know, and he, he didn't, you know, sort of do all that too well. I disagreed with him. I thought he was fantastic and everyone <laughs> loved him and, you know, he told jokes and it was always the life of the party. But in his mind, he wasn't. Um, so it's not for everyone. And that's part of what we also go through. Is this step the sort that you're going to be able to manage? Yeah. So there's people that can't manage and there's others, as you said, they move in that and they awesome. go, oh, my God, we should have done this years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did yep. you have a... a, a, a normal real estate business that has evolved into this uh, niche? N no. Um, I was working for a franchise, local franchise, and uh, I could see where I wanted to take, you know, be again, because of my background, uh, where I wanted to go. And working for that firm, I felt that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So I started my own business three years ago. Right. And so you've been, and have you specifically niched at yes. this business? Yes. From three years ago. Fantastic. Yes. And so what extra uh, uh, knowledge have you had to acquire? Like, do you do research on what does the NDIS mean? Because you were saying before, sometimes you'll have a client who might come to you saying, I think we need to sell the house. And yes. you're like, no, we're just going to yes. get a gardener and get a cleaner and you'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, because that person might not be quite ready for the retirement village yeah. lifestyle. As you say, if they're the sort of person that being in a retirement village is going to be completely wrong for them, Yeah. well then let's not push them into something that's not, not for them. Let's help them stay where they are because they're more comfortable there. Yeah, and yeah. they might have family who can help that are nearby. Others that, you know, family miles away, well, they can't help. Um, so I, I have a reasonable uh, knowledge of that, but also I have a network of people who specialise okay. in all that information. So that yes. would be part of what you do is not just we have the conversation, we then have the network to support exactly. if we want to go further. So yes. do you specialise in a certain geography? I tend to look after the Mornington Peninsula, Yeah. yes, um, but I also have found myself selling properties elsewhere, so right. yeah, absolutely. Have you had people just use you for advice rather than just yes. selling the property, but just basically we're getting towards that phase, yes. we want to get ready, blah, 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 blah. Yes. So you still get people who have that kind of conversation. Absolutely, because this is a long process. Yeah. For some people, you know, they might be, it might be a five-year plan yeah, yeah. that they're working towards and saying, okay, well, we're not ready now, but, you know, this is what, what we're options? working towards. How do we get to that end result? Yeah. Yeah. And Lord help them if they're a hoarder, because you've got to get rid of oh, all this yes. stuff yes. At, at the back as well. <laughs> <laughs> come across a few of those. Yes, we have. Yes, yes, oh, definitely. Oh, man. So, it's a three-bedroom yeah. house with only one functioning bedroom. Yeah, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, no, it's it's interesting. Um, I've got parents and parents-in-law that are, that are getting towards this kind yep. of phase. And, uh, yeah, I pity the nursing home that they move to because they're going to take <laughs> over, I tell you. So, fantastic. Hey, Janet, if people yeah. want to find out more information or get in touch with you, what's the best way to get in touch? Uh, there's a number of ways. Obviously, we do have a website, yep. which is um, uh, mcneilrealestate.com.au. Now, let's spell that because McNeil yes. can be spelled in many, many different ways. It can. So, I say M for mother, C, N for Nelly, E, I, double L, 
realestate.com.au. McNeil, realestate.com.au. We have a landline. Excellent. Which is uh, 59771737. And that's a 03 area code 03. because we go out internationally. We do, yes. Uh, that is 03, and the landline, of course, is for the older people. They don't really like to use say, mobile phones. <laughs> If, would you like the mobile? Why not? Let me give it to you. 0419 503 327. That's 0419 503 327. That's the mobile. That's You've got the a mobile. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. So we've got a bit of everything. She's got us covered from all, <laughs> all positions. So Janet McNeil. Hey, Janet, thank you so much for coming in thank and you. talking to us. What a fascinating business that yeah. is only going to keep you busier and yes. busier. Definitely. Yes. Uh, yeah. thanks, we love Janet. it. We love it. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, Janet.